we've got the chairman there actually suggesting with the losses that it's actually at the moment having to shoulder that it's an existential threat to the company itself. Yes, exactly. I mean, this is another company in the transport space that is warning it won't have sufficient financial resources to continue even as a going concern. Uh, slightly different reasons in the case of Genting. Uh, the coronavirus uh, pandemic has forced the company to basically temporarily suspend almost all of its cruise operations. And it's also stopped or deferred the construction of ships that it had in the pipeline because operators don't want to take that. Um, their Taiwan cruise operations were suspended earlier this month after the new COVID wave hit there. And in Singapore, where it has at least been running these so-called cruises to nowhere, after an uptick in community transmission, the cruises uh, have been now reduced so they can only operate at 25% of their capacity, down from 50%. And you have to, you know, other measures like you have to eat takeaway food in your cabin. So that's certainly a detraction and they're seeing uh, several cancellations from that. Some of the measures that Genting is considering to help them through this uh, very tough situation and in Improve their financial position include things like allocating new shares, raising some more liquidity through debt or equity, working with creditors to restructure some of their debt, or even requesting a debt holiday or sort of a freeze of their payment obligations.